My name is Evan Marshall. And the name of your film? My film is Late Rounders, The Long Hard Road to the NFL. Okay, what inspired Late Rounders? <laughs> what inspired Late Rounders was the, the true underdog story. Um, when a lot of people see people in the NFL and they see the superstars, they think, oh, there's all the ego and there's the million dollars. Well, for every you know, $10 million contract in the NFL, there are five guys who are struggling just to make a squad. Now, if you make a squad, it's $400,000, which to the stars, they're like, oh, no big deal. But to you and I, that's a good sum of money. Mm -hmm. If you don't make the team, you get nothing. Mm -hmm. So the inspiration was the fact that there are a lot of stories out there about these players who it's their life goal, not just from a financial standpoint, but these People have been playing football their entire lives. So we found five players that fit that mold. They weren't the they weren't the, the egocentric athlete. They were people just like you and I. Um, and then as we kept working on it, we realized that not only were the players we focused on that way, but the agents were as well. You know, we're, we're not talking about Drew Rosenhaus. We're not talking about you know Ari Gold from Entourage. These are real guys. Mm -hmm. So. The process, as it evolved, I found myself looking at these, these players and these agents going, these are like you and I. Mm -hmm. And when you have that kind of relationship with the people you work with and the subjects of your films, you know that the viewer is going to root for them. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's really what ended up happening. Mm -hmm. um, so these players, you got them at what point? Are they all seniors? All the players that we, that we focused on, we started near the end or after their college career had ended. So it starts in somewhere between November, December, January, once the college season ends, mm -hmm. and it takes them all the way up through the NFL draft. And the, the, end, of the, the end of the film is where they ended up, which you know, takes us all the way into August. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So you're not going to give away the ending. You're oh, of course not. Look, if you go to the if you go to the website, if you go to LateRounders.com, you can find the players. You can find the agents, and you know, a, a quick Google search will tell you what happened, okay. which of the players made it, which didn't. Um, you know, if you want to spoil it for yourself, no, you can. You can. Uh -huh. But even if you know what happens to them, the road that they took to get there uh -huh. is is it's inspirational. It's 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 a good story. Uh -huh. In, in terms of the message, in, in terms of the content, dealing with the film, uh, with the participants, the football players, what surprised you most as you made that film? What did you find out that you really didn't know before about that long road to success? A lot of things surprised me. The the, the first thing is I'm a huge football fan. I'm, a, I'm about as big a football fan as you're going to find. I thought I understood how the process works. I thought I understood what happened on draft day. Well, I was in the room. We had all these players in one room on the NFL draft, and I was starstruck. You know, I, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. I'm looking around going, I, I had no idea this is what happens. So figuring out really what goes on that draft day, even the biggest football fan is going to look at this going, I had no idea. Um, at the same time, one of the, the, the things we were worried about with this film is the fact that the non-football fan. Are they going to be lost? Are they going to not care? And uh, we, we showed it to a, a couple of you know close friends who weren't football fans, who weren't sports fans. And they go, you know, some of this stuff it gets a little intricate, but the storyline is still there. You still know what these guys are going for. You still know what their struggle is. You see them training. You see the exercises they're doing. You get it. You know truly what, what they're doing. So, so it, was, it, it is inspirational just because of what they had to overcome. And, and from a personal standpoint, I've, I've become personal friends with these players and these agents. And what's your history of filmmaking? What have you done before? What do you do? Filmmaking, this is my first. This okay. is the first film. I'm, I, I come from a TV background. Okay. I've, I've, worked in, I've been working in TV for, for since my senior year of high school. I did an internship in high school. And, and first day I walked into a TV studio, I said, this is what I want to do. Um, so that's what I've been doing for the past, you know, twenty some odd years, and then this was my first. This is my first film. Okay. What impact do you hope for late rounders to make? Hmm, that's a very good question. I, I think it dispels a lot of myths about about athletes. Um, it, it dispelled a lot of the, uh, the myths about the industry, about how NFL works, how these players, they're they're. 
in some ways they're treated like cattle, you know, on these these pro days and these combines. They're herded through and they're weighed and they're, everything is a, is a mathematical equation. And you see what these guys go through and you, and you see that they're human beings. And, you know, that's, that's really what storytelling is about. It's not about what happens, it's how people react to how something, to, to what happens to them. And that's really, really what happens in this, in this film. And we're at the DC Independent Film Festival. People, they're not here to see Lake Brown, just how can they see the film? It's a very good question. That's, that's, that's what we're hoping to, we're hoping to answer that question. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're looking for distribution for it. Uh -huh. We, um, you know, we're going to be reaching out to a lot of the cable outlets because it's sports, sports content. There are a lot of sports television. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of sports viewership. If you look at television revenues, everything is going down. But how much are people paying for the NFL? It's going up. So sports is a very valuable commodity in television and hopefully in film. So, so there's a lot of homes for this, and we're we're kind of weighing our options right now and seeing what's what's the most appropriate fit for it. Okay, the website is www.laterounders.com. Um, on there, you can, like I said, you can get bios on the players, on the agents, on the production, where we shot, when we shot, what equipment we use. We have trailers on there, so you can kind of get a feel for for what you're going to see. Right, thank you so much. Sure, no problem. Best of luck. All right.